You dialed zero. Cool, man. Thank you. Yes, I'd like to speak to a captain or a watch commander, please. Thank you. How's it going, man? Are you trying to get my ticket fixed that I just got? Oh, hell no. You too, huh? They're trying to get me some bullshit. They pulled me over for supposedly burning tire and um, loud music. Well, I ended up getting a ticket for tinted window, uh, tail light broken, and... Um, wow. And they just added all up? Yes. I'm like, I thought you were pulling me over for loud music. You know? And they pulled me over on the freeway. Oh, shit. They were just waiting for you to do something. Well, I was trying to come out of Target. I passed by there. Like, nothing. I'm, I'm going my way, you know? Right. Next, you know, I hop on the freeway, and I see a cop like, bro, with his lights on. So I'm not thinking he's coming for me, right? Right. I'm going on the freeway. Next, you know, I see him behind me. I'm like, oh, shit. He got me. <laughs> I was not going to pull over. I was not going to stop the freeway, but he was like, get off. And I'm like, oh, all right, we're going to And then when I see my ticket, I'm like, tits and windows. And wow. I what I was, I'm like, I thought I got pulled over for a lot of Merry years. Christmas, huh? And I was like, that's what I told him, too. I'm like, damn, thank you for the gift. Yeah, you got it, you got it. <laughs> Look at this. There's nothing but a bank, bro. Look at it. Everything has fees. Everything has fees, fees on. Money, yep. That's all it is, bro. Yeah, they, they just uh, stopped. The, well, they came up on us because somebody called. They said that I had a gun. Oh. And I carry a taser, so, okay. you know, I don't have an army, but, right, right, right. you know, but they can see if I go like this, they can see it's a taser, yeah. you know, so they said, let me see your ID because I want to make sure you're not a felon. And I said, yeah, nah. I'm really sure, too. I'm like, hey, can I take my suit off? I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm okay. Yeah. And then he tried to search my girl, my girl was like, nah, I want a female cop. And he's like, oh, I just want to make sure you got no guns. I'm like, I'm telling you, I want a female cop. And I was already having a cop car though, you know. They got me off too. Kind of Dirty ass fools, man. Yeah, they ended up giving me a ticket for, because I said they were following me in the street, and yeah. then they were calling me over. Come here, let me talk to you real quick. So when I finally turned around and walked up to them, they're like, oh, yeah, let me see your ID. And I was like, no, nah, I haven't broken the law. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're jaywalking. That's what they tried to say to me. What the he, fuck? He said I was burning tire. Uh, that I ran a stop sign, and I burned tire, and I was playing my loud music. Wow. Right and there. none of that was on the, on the, on the ticket. Right there, bro. Like, why are you chasing me all the way when we were here? Like, right. Get me? Yeah, that's crazy, man. That's crazy. The way the way they they, uh, they earn that disrespect, man, is it's never gonna get better either. And the thing is, that he's on his camera when he approached me. Oh yeah, I pulled over for loud music and burning tire. Right. He never said tinted window. He never said broken tail light. Right. He never said that. When yeah. he was writing the ticket, his partner, he actually had to go on his phone to search up whatever reason they write down. All the penal thing. codes, yeah. yeah they're so like, uneducated, man. It's ridiculous. Like, yeah. They hire all these fools, high volume, you know, high volume. Get them in. Get them yeah. in. Get them in. And they, they come out here and they just start violating our rights left and right. right. And they know it too. They know they're uneducated. They know they don't know the law. That's why they get all butt hurt when you yeah. call them out on it. Oh, yeah. They get mad. He got mad. I'm like, I'm not getting mad. I'm just letting you know facts. You get me? I'm like, I'm getting mad at the fact that you're coming at me for no reason, bro. Like, how right. do you feel? You get me? They're coming at me for no reason. Yeah. I haven't done anything wrong. I'm passing by, by you. You know, I'm passing 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 by not only that, but they're claiming now that you have a gun and now they want to search everybody in your car. That's already illegal on its own, man. Mm -hmm. the, the only right that they have when they when they pull you over like that is if they see something, then they could say, hey, right. get right. out the car. Right. Or, hey, your passenger has something right. on on her. Mm -hmm. Let me see that, you know. But yeah, until right. until they've actually verified that something's going on, they have no right to even talk to your passenger. Everything is on you because you're the driver, you know. So I bought all that, man. I turned on my car. I showed my keys. I put them on the mirror. I'm like, there's everything. I'm like, and I he acted normal after that. So I'm like, come on, man. I'm just trying to do my day, you know? Yeah, man. They like to ruin people's lives is what they do, man. They always want to put you through the system, yeah. look you up to see if you're a criminal so they can take you to jail. And they still want to tell you, we're trying to help you out. Man. Right. Like, yeah, come on. Like, Helping me into it. Jail cells, which you're trying to help me. I've been here about 10 minutes now. I gave her the ticket, I gave her my ID, it's still come out. She said, I'm going to get the sergeant and watch or something. Oh, okay. So you're waiting for the same guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, about 10 minutes. Yeah. This is how they treat us, man. They treat us like criminals out here. This is the second time it happens to me. Damn. This is the second time. You got to start documenting and start filing complaints, man. The first time it came, they read it off. They took the ticket away from me. Oh, nice. I appreciate it. That's why I'm making a big deal, bro. And I'm trying to do the same thing. I'm like, he said he was going to give me a ticket for loud music and burning tire. I don't see none of this right here. Yeah. So he didn't even give you the ticket for loud music no, or... No, no, no. he actually wow. went on his phone up the coast to see what he gave me. Like, oh, he said 10. 
I think that's him pulling up, look. That's the cop pulling up right here. My C Island Oh no, they're going that way. But that's him right there. Like, were, and it just happened right now? Yeah, they were right there. There were like four cop cars on target. Oh, okay. I don't know why, don't know why they were right there for you, know? Well, because they were fucking with us earlier. I came in, nothing. Without music and everything, he never came at me once. Yeah. I went to target, came out, I passed by him again, went on my way, and then I guess that's when he went after me. But I never seen him go after me right away. Right. You know, uh, like, once I'm in the freeway, he puts in the U-turn by Canes, and, and I'm like, And I'm then got on you. Yeah. Wow. Like, oh, it's crazy. Yeah, they were mad because they just left us right now. We were, they, I'm telling you, they called because they said I had a gun and we were giving them shit, so they were all pissed off, you know? So I'm sure they took it out on you, too. If there was the same guys from over there, they were mad already, dude. And that's what's yeah. wrong with police, yeah, man. Yeah, they're mad when you come with facts and you're not giving them attitude, but they want to call it attitude. I'm like, right. if you're coming with facts, you need to come with facts. Like, right. If I did that right then and then, you should have crushed them in a minute. There's four cops right there, bro. Right. Why took you so long? Exactly. You got no excuse saying, oh, it's gonna happen to somebody coming for me or whatever. Like, I don't know that. Dude, came for me right then and then on the spot. You said I ran a stop sign and I burned fire. I'm like, come on, bro, like, that's all bullshit. You get me? I can really say you came at me because I'm Mexican, racial, something, but right. it would be relevant to go that topic right now. I told right. him that. And he just laughed. I'm like, just fact, bro. Like, honestly, it is. Yep. I have my windows down. I looked at you. And he got mad at the fact that I looked at him. He's like, yeah, you scared at me like, you're about to do something. I'm like, oh, just seeing what we got doing right here. I've never seen so many cops on target. <laughs> Always trying to get, like, yeah, make I, something I, out of I've nothing. I've never seen so many cops on target. I'm like, I'm not wearing no face mask or nothing to cover my face. Man. Right. That I'm trying to do something to you. I would just, I passed by and looked at you. I'm like, what yep. was it, like, three seconds what it was? Right. I wasn't in the car. Yeah. And then I got stopped and. What's up, fool? Yeah, you hear me? <laughs> yeah. I'm like, come on, bro. Like, you really got mad at the fact that I did that? Like, I'm like, that's crazy, bro. Or yep. you take the time and come do all this. Oh, yeah. They, they start enforcing their feelings instead of the law, man. Yeah. That's why we call them the feelings police, man. They, they work with their feelings instead of working with what the law actually is. They never cite what the law is except for they always want to say, oh, well, these people called because of this. Or, you know, oh, why are you looking at me? Because I feel like you're about to do something. Like, yeah. dude, do your job. Be a professional and, and, and stay, you know, stay on course and, do you know, do what you got to do. And that's it. You know, they always want to. You know, yeah. get something else. There was somebody in the freeway stuck. Instead of going for that guy, I'm going to come get somebody else. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. Instead of trying to help somebody. Serve and protect. I don't see none of that. You know? No, no, no. They're not <laughs> here to help anybody. They're just here to help themselves. Yeah. Help people into jail so they, they can make money. revenue. They're here to make money. Look at that shit. The whole fee's right there. $20, $31, 21 yeah. Yeah, man, they had a supervisor there. He was pissed, you know, because obviously, you know, if we haven't broken the law, we don't have to comply to their demands, you know? Yeah. I know for a fact we didn't break the law and, um, you know, people want to claim that we did, but hey, we'll do your proper investigation, you know? Show me the video where I broke the wall, then you could detain me, you know? Exactly. They'll do that. I told him. I'm like, if I'm getting your ass, it's the fact that he came on me wrong. I'm like, I'm not doing nothing, bro. Like, yeah. And who says you can't have an attitude? Of, you know, of course you can have an attitude. It's your right. It's your feelings, you know? Of course you can. It's your life, man. You can have an attitude. I could tell you to fuck off if I want to, you know? Like, you just got to eat it up and do your job and be professional. Once you start giving them lip, man, they start using their feelings real quick. This is the part that they don't want to hear, you know? <laughs> when you come in here and be like, yeah. give, giving the captain shit for what their deputies are doing out there. They don't want to hear it. They're going to use the excuse that the sergeant's coming from the field. <laughs> oh, it's not that same dirt bag I run into. Uh -huh. <laughs>
I always write that. I used to write to my boss's, I mean, ride my bike to my boss's house. I don't know, it was always a coincidence by the cop, but I always sent over every day. The same one all the time, too? The same one all the time. What? And then after that, he started seeing me, like, he wanted to load in the morning. Like, oh, so how you doing? And I was like, oh, ah, know. motherfucker. Uh, all, it took all of a sudden. 20 times for you to, like, say, how you doing? You know, like, <laughs> 20 times to pull me over for you to say, how you doing? Like, yeah. to make sure I'm a good person now, you know? Like, yeah, all of a sudden you're just trying to get to work and, and you're a criminal. Pull over, you know? Yes. Stupid. Okay. And you know what, Carson, we, we did a, we were filming in Compton, same thing, I got detained earlier for the same thing, somebody called, I had a gun, so they come over here, they start, you know, searching you and everything, it's ridiculous, man, yeah. when are these cops going to learn, you know? Yes, because like they can make something small. Oh, yeah, no, because they came out with their guns, yeah. they, they had me up by gunpoint, they were like, get your hands up on the hood, blah, 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 and I'm like, dude, I don't have a gun, you know, it's a taser, look, still, you know? It's crazy, I don't know how that feels, bro. Yeah, that's your life, man. That's your. I'm pretty sure you know a guy uh, common. We call him Turbo. You know, I don't know if you ever ran into him or something. No. Oh, he used to pull me twenty four seven. He he put, actually put a gun right in my face, like. Damn. Not me. Everybody came out. Like I was just at my house, and my homies kicking it. Uh, yeah. Yeah, they came out of nowhere. Me and my homies were back. And. They can fit to us, and we were like, they shook, and he's like, what are you doing? Dang. How's it going? How's it going, boss? I just got pulled over right now. Uh-huh. Uh, I supposedly got pulled over for loud music and burning tire, and I don't see none of those on, on the ticket. I see tinted window, tail light broken. Okay. And um, I call this harassment because the cop was parked on Target. I passed by him twice. Okay. I was going my way, uh-huh. and he said that I... I ran a stop sign and then I burned a wheel and then I was playing loud music. Okay. So he pulled me over on the freeway, he got me off on main. So he chased me from Target all the way to the freeway. Did you go to Target? I went to Target, I bought my dog diapers. Okay. I got in the car, came out, I passed by him again. This like cop, four cop cars right there parked. Okay. And he got bothered the fact that I was playing loud music and that I looked at him. Okay. Pretty much. Alright, but he said that. When he pulled me over there, over there, he said, oh, if you turn a tire, you run a stop sign, and loud music. But on the ticket, he said, tinted window, tail light broken, and what else? Oh, uh, and, and, yeah, right and modified right exhaust. Right like I'm like, come on, man. <coughs> Were those actual violations that you had? No, sir. I, I even have to call you to check on my car or whatever. He had to go on his phone to search all those codes. Do you have uh, tinted windows on the side? No, sir. You can go check my car. Right here, I got them sized, but it's um 35%. You know, okay, but it's not, it's not legal. I make sure whenever I modify my car, I make sure it's legal. Go to court and argue as far as the decibel level. How does the deputy determine that, that level? Okay. Okay. The distance. So there's a um, clearly on on this side of the state. Hey, come here. Yeah, that's stupid. When I was born, the judge didn't carry anything. I was trying to see the cops that pulled me over. They just came in right now. I was trying to see if I'm to the No. Trying to add more to you right, what a fool. Uh, bro, like, you said your life, died. I know, it's, it keeps uh, cutting in and off, in and out. So I need to get this other one going. I just went live on my new channel, so. Okay. So we're over here at Carson Share Station. Um, one of the one of the sergeants over here decided to work with the Sorry for the uh, crappy video, guys. Inside the station, I'm gonna go ahead and say while well, you were jaywalking. So now we need your um, information so we can give you a ticket for jaywalking.
Thanks. Sure. Everything is correct on this uh, information as far as your personal information on citation. Yes, sir. All right, I'm just going to copy that and put this over here. Perfect. Yes, sir. Yeah. That's jail, correct? Correct. I'll give you my cell phone. Okay, what is it? 626. Yes, sir. What about a home email address or a work email address? SGV. Is it home or home? Um, it's my work email. Work email? Yeah, SGV. SGV. N-E-W-S. N-E-W-S. Uh -huh. The number one at gmail.com. No. Uh, no. No. And when you say the date or the time of the incident occurred approximately at the same time as this ticket, one forty eight? Yeah, uh fifteen minutes uh, before they wrote it up is when it all went down. They had me detained for about fifteen or twenty minutes. Sure. Yeah, one thirty is fine. Yeah, that was it.
I didn't know you can call the cops and say somebody has a gun and they just show up and violate the shit out of you, man. What do, what do we do about somebody making false police reports? Can I file a complaint about that on the facility that I called or? I mean, because that that's my life. It's my life that you guys are, you know, coming to, you know, handle, you know. And if guns are drawn, that's even worse, you know. At least they didn't draw guns on us. But, you know, for somebody making a false report that I have a gun and I haven't pulled it out or threatened anybody, I mean, what can I do about that? Can I file a complaint about the business or? Well, we have to investigate any type of information that we receive from the public as far as threats or possible threats. Yeah. Would they have to have evidence or some type of, like you asked me for evidence, can I see, you know, when they, when you guys show up and say, hey, uh, this guy has a gun, he's threatening us, do you guys ask them for evidence or are you just taking their word for it? We have to take information based on people calling in that they are credible. We have to investigate it to make sure that it is credible. And only by contacting people do we determine if that alleged information or that information that's provided to us is correct. You know, a lot of uh, officers and deputies ask why we're out here, and this is exactly why, man, because people are are jailed and ticketed for for false accusations all the time, man, and this is, you know? Is it possible that you, you have a right to be safe out there? Right. I thought you guys were so supposed to protect and serve the public, man. Yeah, you know, and, and that means coming out and not being biased and, and hearing both sides of the story, man. You know, right. not just making a decision on what somebody made and because, you know, because you see that I have something on my hip, all of a sudden it's game over for me. When, when was I going to be able to explain myself? So as far as your, the contents of your complaint, you're, you're stating that you are... I was forced to walk across the street by the deputy and then they gave me a ticket for walking across the street, for jaywalking. My uh, my fifth was violated. They violated my Fifth Amendment, and they also um, they also illegally searched me, which is also my Fourth Amendment. And uh, and then they cited me for something that wasn't even part of the uh, call. It, they just decided to take my, my information so they can cite me for something. I was forced to cross the street when the deputies called me over, then they gave me a ticket for jaywalking. And if it fits, can you just note that there was eight cop cars blocking the traffic on the street, so the traffic was limited.
Yes. Okay, what was the name? Um, Carlos. What's the last name? Palacio. It was the sergeant, Sergeant Berg or Burn or something like that. Okay. Was there any issue with the deputy that gave you the ticket? No. The deputy that gave me the ticket was very professional. Okay. I didn't even have a conversation with him until he came and asked me to sign the ticket. Okay, so your concern or issue is with Sergeant Berg? Yes, correct. Okay. Okay, I'm just making sure everything's correct here, okay? All right. Let me... Thank you. All right, give me one second. All right, thanks. All right, guys. Well, thank you guys for being here, but... um. Like I said, unjust today, guys. This was unjust. This was an unjust stop. They could have they could have just verified that I had a taser and been on their way, just like a lot of officers and deputies have done in the past. You know, they, they know the difference between real cops, real deputies, real officers, know the difference between a, a, a toy and, and what is considered to be a taser and a real gun, guys. Okay? The real cops are not are not embarrassed to say, oh yeah, that's a taser. Never mind. have a good day, sir. We know you don't have a gun. No, these fake ass cops out here, you know, they want to say, oh yeah, well, I need to verify. I need to verify just to violate your rights, guys. Just to violate your rights. Hey, Polly Glock, appreciate you being here, brother. Thank you, guys. 420's in the house. What's up with it? Yeah, maybe I should just invest in a yellow taser. Thanks, Alcor, for getting me a black taser. This was a gift from uh, Alcor, I think, every, on every audit. Thanks, Alcor. 
So Wamu in the house, what's up, buddy? Couldn't say that they violated my first because they didn't say to put the camera down or stop filming, but um, there are other violations here, guys, that they should, you know, they should definitely be aware about. You know, this, this is not, you know, people should not be treated like this. Hello. Hey there. Having fun? <laughs> They're in there having a good old time, laughing it up. You guys should have seen last time we went, we went out to Westminster uh, PD to go do an audit after the incident where they tore something in my arm. Um, and, uh, and they were over there making fun of me in the in the parking lot. Oh, they broke my arm! They broke my arm! You know, what what kind of professionals are these officers out here on the streets? Really, if they're going to make fun of victims, they're going to make fun of you for being a victim. What well, you know goes to show what kind of people we have working for the public. You know, the cops are supposed to be the peacemakers. They're supposed to be the the mediator. And they show up and right away they just start escalating shit right away. Right away they start escalating. They know damn well that it's not a gun on my hip, but yet they still want to violate your rights just to say they can do so. Yeah, the other guy that was in here right now said that they followed him out of a Target parking lot, he jumped on the freeway and they um, followed him onto the freeway and pulled him off uh, like a mile later, ended up pulling him off of the uh, freeway and giving him a citation for everything except for what they actually put him over for. So what kind of favor are you really doing for me, deputy? Sorry right, guys, we keep going over here. Just waiting for this guy to get the incident. Then I'll sign the form and that's it. Not only that, but okay, I got it I got a ticket for jaywalking, guys, and I have two deputies holding my arms behind my back. Why why do I need to be detained? with my hands behind my back for a day walking ticket. That's what I don't understand. What is wrong with these cops, man? The behavior of these cops is just sensational. Seriously. No wonder so many people try to, you know, they try to kiss ass when a cop pulls them over. Yes, sir, no, sir, oh, I'm sorry about that. Yeah, because they already know the behavior of these departments. Nobody's watching them, and they're just doing whatever the hell they want out here. So guess what? They violate everybody's rights. The guy that was in here making a complaint right now also said that they try to search his girlfriend because they wanted to see if she had any guns. When was the call about a gun? When, when, when did that call become about a gun when they pulled them over for... Um, excessive uh, music and for supposedly burning tire and running a stop sign, all of a sudden the call became about a gun and now we got to search everybody. This is ridiculous. You guys got to start standing up for your rights, man, and start defending your freedom out here, especially when you get pulled over. Don't let them go through your stuff. They have to get your permission to search your vehicle now. If you don't give them that permission, they have to have probable cause. If they don't have probable cause, they can kick rocks. You guys got to remember that, man. Do not give up your rights. Too many of us folding out here for law enforcement, just giving up our rights for them to treat us this way. That's why they get away with it, guys. What about the rights of the guy you shot? <laughs> what guy did I shoot? What are you talking about? 
I shot him with my camera, took a picture of him. You know, you know what the sad thing about this, guys? One of the guys that had my hand, you know, held behind my back like a prisoner, one of these guys actually said, oh, hey, SGV News, we'll see you later. And I told him, you know what, man, that, that's pretty sad that you knew exactly who I am and you know what I'm doing, but yeah, you still, you guys still want to treat us like this? You know, that's, that's sad right there. These guys knew exactly who I was, yet they still went ahead and did what they did. Damien, appreciate you. Welcome. Welcome. Hell yeah. Welcome to the Shala Battalion, my friend. We got to keep our eyes on the streets, guys. More cop watching. Hey, if you guys know uh, the busy, hot areas in Compton or in Carson, please let me know because we'd like to come out here and cop watch the city of Carson. But, you know, we just don't know where to, where to target. We need target locations where the cops are active, pulling people over or just harassing people. We'd love to come out here and, and do some police accountability, guys. If anybody's from the Compton area or Carson area that knows the uh, areas where cops usually hang out or pull people over, please let me know. We'd like to come out and cop watch the, the city. Looking for Mason symbols, Masonic logos. Near the Carson Mall, Mexican Righteous says. Thank you, buddy. We're going to have to check that out. All of Compton. Dan G in the house. What's up, Dan? Yeah, you saw him, Susan, when he throat, when he cutthroat signed. And then he said, like, let's get this mother. Yeah, those cops are dirty, man. Is that over here? No, the cop the other day in, in Westminster, the cop <coughs> was coming like this, like, like you know, yeah. chopping his throat, like, let's get him or something, dude. Did they do your complaint yet or not? Time to ex ex execute. Yeah, he's he want to go get a copy on the incident number. Okay. It's taking a little longer than I thought he would, but whatever. Out here with AV Watchmen, exposing corruption, guys. Make sure and go check out AV Watchmen, exposing corruption. That's his new channel. He needs our support out there, guys. So go make sure and subscribe and share his uh, his channel. AV Watchman Exposing Corruption. Hashtag AV Watchman Exposing Corruption. Somebody put his channel up there for me. Yeah, appreciate it, guys. Appreciate it all the love. Thank you, Jordan Keen. Thank you for that info. Tort claim. Got it. Supposed to be the best, but they lie. All right, guys. We got the complaint filed. All right, guys. So we are um, obviously complaining about them uh, violating my fourth, my fifth, and uh, accusing me of jaywalking when they're the ones that actually called me across the street, telling me to come on over here. And then they want to go ahead and give me a ticket for being a, uh, for jaywalking pretty much. You know, so hopefully uh, a detective or whoever's going to investigate can see that their sheriffs are corrupt here and they shouldn't be treating people like this. You know, and maybe they should see that this was a retaliation um, ticket just because I started calling him a pussy. He got all mad, and then he was mad dogging me the whole time. So you can tell that his feelings were hurt. You see the sergeant on my body cam just staring at me the entire time, guys. He did not take his eyes off of me. That's how pissed off he was. So you're gonna tell me that this was a valid ticket? No, it was retaliation. Straight retaliation, guys. Thank you guys for hanging in. I know the video is kind of messed up. Um, but I just wanted to show you guys that we are out here making a complaint at the station. We do not let this type of thing, you know, walk on by. We got to make sure and stay on top of these complaints. And um, until the next one, guys. Until the next one. SGV News first. Oh, look, this is the cop right here.
<laughs> run, pitch, run! <laughs> they don't like when you put their plates on the internet, guys. They don't like it. They do not like it, guys. Thank you, 420. Appreciate your support, brother. Hope you're feeling better. Woo! At least they didn't rip my arm back. They actually had respect for me telling them that I have a messed up shoulder. And uh, so I'm glad that they didn't rip my arm back, guys. I am in a lot of pain from that Westminster incident. Right on, brother. The Shala King supporter is nice. I'm surprised you're not helping silence girl. Who's silence girl? I never heard of him. I never heard of her. Who is she? RIP to my arm. Is that down? <laughs> they cited me for... Um, I'll tell you guys what they cited me for right here. Two one nine fifty three VC jaywalking. What was the story with the guy in the white truck? Oh, that was a cop. That was the sergeant. No, that was a cop pulling out from work. Oh wow! <laughs> I just wanted to get his plate. <laughs> huh? I'm like, what the hell is he doing? <laughs> yeah, we gotta get all their plates. All right, guys. So I'm gonna end the live before we get to the vehicle. So appreciate you guys being here. Night patrol tonight, guys. Oh, here, let me, Let's do it. We need to get out here and stay on these motherfuckers, man. It's getting sad. Just when you think things are getting better, and the cops are actually calming down and people treating people with respect. It seems like I'm the one getting the, the worst end of it now. So, no, nah, man, we got to get out here. We got to get out here and we got to stay out here, guys. SGP News first. Be on the lookout for that live stream tonight. Cop watching the shit out of these motherfuckers. You heard about the lady that was, uh, the lady was being given the people the actual thing. She was just giving them saline. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's right. With the cops have no, they don't have an education. The only thing they can come up with is jaywalking. Man, that sergeant was a piece of trash, guys. Um, you guys saw it. I was live for that uh, first part of the interaction, and then some. Somehow my feed went down. Um. But yeah, he got brought hurt because I told, him, "Hey, I haven't broken the law. I'm not going to give you anything. You know, tell me what law I broke, and then I'll go ahead and give you up my, give up my information." Oh, yeah, you were jaywalking. Motherfucker, you called me over here. All of a sudden, I'm jaywalking. Wow. That's the corruption, guys. This is why law enforcement needs to be put on check. This is why they need to have cameras on them. This is why we got to try to record every traffic stop that we encounter. Because they lie. They're liars. They're thieves. And they will steal your money, guys. SGV News First out here with AV Watchmen. We'll catch you soon, guys. Be on the lookout. If anything else comes up, we'll pop back in. But we'll be out uh, patrolling the streets tonight, guys. They definitely need it, guys. You guys be safe out there. Always watch your rear view, guys. Keep those eyes on the rear view. We're out of here. Much love, guys.